incredible success story about a man who rose from his roots to achieve everything possible in club football. It was he, of course, who masterminded Manchester United's amazing treble. But had he done it three years later, Fergie might have turned his back on the beautiful game. I think maybe I thought, I wish I was 60, you know? And that happened. Because I made my mind up to retire at 60, I suppose. And it was a final, wonderful final moment. But he's still three years short of his 60th birthday and returned from his short summer break with the hunger for trophies burning stronger than ever. Once you've had your holiday and you go back to the training ground, the habit starts again, you know, you miss the players and, and the banter starts and you look at the fixture list again, you, then all the outcry about the FA Cup and where you go to Tokyo, Brazil and, and things like that, then becomes the challenge again. Repeating the treble he thinks is an impossible dream. Winning the league again would be enough to satisfy Sir Alex. I think I've got to say it to win the week. We'll not get the FA Cup, as we know. And if we win the, the league, I'll be very happy. We'll maintain the success. Uh, and if we were to get the European Cup, then I'd have a marvellous bonus, which we'd all love, because you can't forget the excitement of Barcelona. Having withdrawn from the FA Cup, United can look forward to the inaugural World Club Championships in Brazil. Not that Fergie's getting carried away with the excitement just yet. At the moment, to me, it's a nothing event because I don't have any details. You know, I, I don't even know who is going to be the opponents. I know that um, the Brazilian champions, Real Madrid, Real Madrid, are going to be there. But other than that, I don't know who else is going to be there. So I can't really get excited about it at the moment. Sir Alex's story, you sense, is far from over. The next chapter still hasn't been written.